How's it going, you guys? And welcome back to another edition of the podcast. In today's episode, we are actually going to be talking about something that I quite literally could care less to talk about. However, it is coming up in not only my feed, but now in conversation with people in real life. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So today we're actually going to be talking about something that's been coming up online in my feed, and it is another supplement, dietary, energy, whatever you want to call it. If you know what I'm talking about, you're probably rolling your eyes right now, or you may be a pusher of this product. Now, this product is called Revital U, and I wanted to talk about it because Well, for those of you who don't know, this is a fitness-related podcast, and people are promoting this product as a fitness supplement or a supplement that will help you with your fitness goals. Now, it's coming up a lot on my Facebook feed, and it's starting to creep into my Instagram. People have not yet slid in the DMs with any, hey, do you want to join my team type pitches yet. However, I know it's on the horizon, and I sort of just wanted to get ahead of it and talk about it since it seems as if, to me, it is something that is relatively in its infancy. I took a look at their Instagram account. I took a look at their Twitter. Relatively low followers, probably a company that hasn't been around that long. I gave it its due diligence. I Again, don't really care too much to investigate this product, but I did give it about 30 minutes of my personal time, and we're going to talk about what I found out. So if you're a brand influencer, if you are pushing this product or promoting and trying to get people on your team, again, these are not shots against you as an individual or you as a hustler. I feel like anybody who wants to put in the drive, put in the work, and is passionate about what they're they're promoting, then by all means, do you. And I hope that you are successful in your endeavors. What I want to get into, though, and just to preface, I am going to, well, I I may, no, I will. (laughs) I'm going to throw this video up on Facebook and just get it out there because I have to watch these Revital You live Facebook videos, this is going to be my sort of rebuttal, or I guess you would call it the the flip side of the coin. And what I found with Revital U, if we can talk a little bit about the product, because if you don't already know, it is coffee. It's a coffee supplement that's supposed to help you, has dietary uh, beneficial properties to it. Uh, when I was looking at the the ingredients, they claim that there's ingredients for promoting energy, there's ingredients for promoting um, things like better digesti- digestion, and, you know, just give it a, a quick over on the Wikipedia MD. Yeah, these, these uh, ingredients have been known to show that, yes, they do, in fact, uh, do what they claim or what this company is claiming that they do. However, there hasn't been like super extensive research. So if you are a believer in herbal medicines and things like that, then I mean, clearly you have to take it with a grain of salt if you're not. And you have to understand that maybe this product is just sort of pumping in all the or scooping in all the good things that, that are out there currently in the in the herbal medicine field and putting it in coffee. So nothing really against that. The The ingredients that they claim are in the product seem to check out. Now, one of the things that I'm hearing people who are promoting this product talk about is that it is also a detox as well as something to promote gut health, and it is also a diuretic. And now, the diuretic one is the 
thing that stood out to me the most because anybody who is into things like bodybuilding or even on the professional level, uh, diuretics definitely help you cut water weight. And so if it is in fact that, then most of the results that you're going to see early on with this product, again, it's merely if it is, I'm not saying that it has it, but there have been brand influencers who claim that it does. If it does in fact have a diuretic or is a diuretic, then the majority of the weight that you will see coming off with this product will more than likely be water weight. It won't in fact be fat. And again, reading through their fact or the frequently asked questions about this product, you still have to incorporate things like dieting and exercise. It's not a, a magic cup of coffee, so to speak. You can't just drink this and just watch the fat melt away. You also have to be active. So To me, that leads me to believe that whether you take this product or you don't, as long as you have a healthy diet or you are physically active and an active gym goer or hiker, walker, bike rider, rollerblader, whatever, any of those and all of those, you'll probably see the results that you're looking for with or without this product. So that's just my my two cents on that. Um, But getting into the becoming an influencer and why I want to talk about this Revital U to begin with is that it has all the comings of a MLM. And you may be wondering, well, what's an MLM? I don't know what that is. In short, it has pyramid-like properties. I refrain from saying a pyramid scheme, although We may as well call it for what it is, but with the way that this type of business is structured, it's not necessarily illegal, but it's not also, it's also not set up to benefit you as the person selling the product. And so to give sort of like a brief, I don't know, wiki once over on an MLM, And you might be wondering, like, you know, I've never heard of anything like that. And chances are you have things like Herbalife, Advocare. Um, I'm trying to think like way back, maybe Mary Kay or there's, there's been other products throughout the years where you are pretty much putting product into the consumer's hand. You are the seller to the direct buyer, and you might think to yourself that you are a representative or that you're some sort of like salesman in the sense that you are endorsed by this company, or I don't really know how to word this. I'm I'm not one in the, the sales world, but I know that with distributors, that was the word I was looking for, with distributors or distribution With other companies like, say, I'm looking into the the blue-collar world or my blue-collar world, if you are a tooling distributor, you are given a territory, and this territory is not to be infringed upon by other distributors. Now, competitors can, but say you are working for a company like Fastenal. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with them, but they sell a lot of tooling and nuts and bolts and whatever it is that you might need for your shop. Now, Fastenal is not going to have a salesman with a territory here on the Central Coast be infringed upon by, say, a distributor in Southern California. They're not going to come out here and sell that product. Now, this product, however, you are in competition with every single person It is survival of the fittest, dog eat dog. And to some that thrive on that, that is great. But to the masses or to the majority that feel that they're going to be able to make a part-time income or be sold on some dream, you are in for a very rude awakening. You would be sorely mistaken that those who are successful off of these types of, I guess, marketing platforms are definitely the few 
they're not the they're not the rule. They're the exception. And I say this again because there's been studies that have been done by m- people who are much smarter or at least have a lot more time than me with previous um MLMs. It said that According to a report that studied the business model of 350 MLMs published on the Federal Trade Commission's website, at least 99% of the people who join MLM companies lose money. Nonetheless, MLM functions because, because downline participants are encouraged to hold on to the belief that they can achieve large returns. So... Again, it's one of those things like you're definitely going to be promised and it's something that I'm seeing already. I've seen it with Herbalife. I've seen it with Advocare. I've seen it with, you know, people who were hustling Mary Kay back when I was a kid. And I am i don't even know if that company's still around, but I'm going to probably keep bringing it up in this podcast. So bear with me. I've seen these people competing with each other as well as promoting. Promoting like this is the greatest product ever. I took a sample and I just felt like this amazing, amazing, not amazing, but amazing surge of energy like I've never felt before. Believe me, it's coffee. And if it has a little bit more caffeine than your average cup of coffee, you're probably going to feel something. And just going on and on preaching about this product being the best thing since sliced bread, which again, maybe their experience, but the skeptic in me. I feel that they're definitely overselling coffee. They're definitely overselling this product. And they definitely want you to buy it. Now, you can buy direct from the company. You can go to their website. You can buy this for their model setup. I think it's like $40 a month or $40 for one tub. And this tub will last you. It's a 30-day supply. So it is $40 for the month. And if you are a like a brand ambassadors if you go with the monthly plan i think you get five or ten dollars off and then they'll just automatically keep renewing that for you every single month consistently delivering that coffee to your house without you having to ask for it anymore and i think that that's definitely one of the things that they want to get you into but getting a little bit off topic there i feel that it's something that is definitely the trend with all of these MLMs that are out there is that you have people who get involved with it and to get involved, you have to be sponsored. I looked through this website and they are super heavy on that. You cannot just get into it. Somebody has got to sponsor you to get involved with it. So already the hierarchy has been set before you've even started. And that's the thing. You might be thinking to yourself, well, a pyramid scheme, as long as I get in on those top levels, I'm probably going to reap some benefits. Those top levels have been filled long before you ever got involved in whatever it is you're doing. That even even a product or a company that seems relatively new like this has already got its upper level people in place. So all these people who are doing it right now, even though there's only 2,000 followers on Instagram, a couple thousand followers on their Twitter. All of these people are just the ground pounders. They're the grunts. They're the they're boots on the ground. So they're the ones that are hustling the money for everybody above them. And the revenue stream for companies like this is very small if you're trying to sell just the product itself because you only get a percentage back from each of your sales. So you really have to push this product onto people and more often than not, at least in sales, I talk about maybe life insurance because my wife and I, we purchased life insurance policy. And so she kind of filled me in on uh, just like a brief history of what it is to, to, to make it there. And I guess, you know, the first people you're going to sell to are your friends and your family. You're going to preach this to them. And uh, you better hope that you don't have a friend who's also involved with this because it'll be very hard then. You're going to have to hustle those other friends and hope that they buy from you. But your friends and family are going to be your first customers. They're going to be the people that are going to try to sell on this product and they're going to believe you. 
you know, your parents are probably going to buy it. Your your grandma definitely will buy it. I mean, she she's not going to really know or look into it. She's going to think like, oh, this is coffee and it's going to help my nephew or my, my grandson. And they're going to be successful entrepreneurs selling selling these products. And then your sales are definitely going to level out, if not flatline. You're going to have to do cold calls. You're going to have to talk to strangers. And this is where I feel the biggest percentage of people fall off because how many of us can approach a stranger on the street and just give them a pitch? Now, maybe you won't do that. Maybe you'll slide in the DMs of strangers out there because that's a little bit more informal and a little bit easier because it's semi-anonymous. But at the same time, that's where that wave of DM, DMs comes from. At least on my Instagram, that's what my experience has been. People always sliding in, trying to say, hey, let's network. Hey, let's, you know, do something, buy this product, click this link. And to me, that's that's those individuals, the, the people that have already gone through their friends and family, and now they're doing cold calls or reaching out like that. And, you know, that that even has its lifespan as well. So where these MLMs really want you to push is in getting people to sign up as distributors as well. And now, as a person who's already invested, not myself, but if you're a person who's already invested, you've already tapped out through your friends and family, you're not getting much of a return on cold calls or sliding into DMs is not being very fruitful for you. It may be for others, but it might not be for you. Now you're going to start trying to hustle other people to sell this product so that you can get a commission off of their sales. So you can get a commission when they sell to their friends and family, to when they sell to their coworkers, to when they sell, if they're reaching out and making cold calls. So it's a a self-perpetuating system with a huge margin for you as the seller to lose. And for those who structured this product or this company to thrive, Because if friends and family are the only people you can sell to, and then you sign somebody else up to something like this, and they sell to their friends and family, well, you're not necessarily needed anymore. You've already gone through your sales lifespan with this company. They're not, they don't necessarily need somebody who's going to be there long term, but if you are successful, well, at least I don't think in companies like this, there's a there's a glass ceiling. Like, sky is the limit. If you're able to hustle something like this, because, again, I'll bring up Mary Kay one more time. There's somebody out here in this area that's balling hard on Mary Kay. They got a lock on Mary Kay out here. Everybody else who does it, they just do it. But this person, they are balling off Mary Kay. And believe me, there's probably one person out here that is just balling out of control off Revital U, but it will not be everybody. So the reason, again, that I wanted to talk about this company, it sort of runs parallel with the fitness podcast that I have. And I just feel like it's snake oil. My honest, just gut feeling about it is that it's unnecessary. It's a it's a scam or a, a it's a quick cash grab for the people that are selling it to you. If you want a stimulant, if you want a supplement that's going to benefit you, get an energy drink, get a pre workout. All of these things will stimulate and give you that caffeine rush that you may need. A lot of them out there, they won't even give you that caffeine crash or that the downs that that some people get when they take a pre-workout. Again, it's sort of like the Cinderella effect. You have to find the pre-workout that best fits you. But with a product like this, I feel like, you know, they're really they're really grabbing at something that I feel a lot of people will bite at. And it's coffee, because as a father of two. I'm drinking coffee every day. Even after my pre-workout and my workout, I get into work and I'm brewing a cup right there. 
I need my coffee. I need that caffeine. Well, I say I need it, but I don't necessarily need it. But, you know, I could stop whenever I want to stop. But still, I brew my cup of coffee. It's my habit. It's my morning routine. So it's just a part of my day. Now, a lot of people might think, well, I drink coffee anyways. Maybe I just buy this product and shed a few pounds while I'm at it. Unfortunately, you're wrong. You need to get at it. You need to hustle. You need to hit the gym. You need to hit the hit the pavement, hit the hills, start walking, start hiking, start running, start biking. Again, surf. If you need to, dance if you want. There's so many things out there, but you have to be active. You cannot live a sedentary life sitting on your butt cheeks and expect to shed fat just drinking coffee, drinking this Revato U product. And if somebody's trying to sell you on it, educate yourself. Educate yourself on what an MLM is. See it for what it is. And and know that the odds are stacked against you. If you still want to take that path, know that you you can probably be successful. And if you are, you can probably be very successful at it. But it, again, it's not designed for everybody. So it is a gamble. It, it takes a hustler's mentality. I feel like those who, who make it, they're natural born salesmen. They smell blood in the water. They're just land sharks. And again, they're the few, they're not the many. They're, they're definitely the exception and not the rule. I don't want, I don't mean to sound like a broken record on this one. I just, in closing, feel like the product is unnecessary if it's for any form of health or fitness, that there's so many other products for a lot less money. They, they do the same things. And if you need, well, it's not if you do need to live an active lifestyle and you do need to eat a healthy diet or have a healthy diet if you expect to see results that a simple eight ounce cup of coffee is not going to yield results. If it is a diuretic, you're going to see weight loss, but that weight loss is going to be water. You're not going to see fat loss. You got to lift weights. You got to be active. Get your cardio in and just live a healthier life. You don't need this. And if you're trying to hustle it or just splatter my feed or slide in my DMs, trying to push this agenda, trying to get me to join and network and get on your team. Just know that I'm not the person for you. I'm not going to be pushing your product for you because again, commission-based, got to self-perpetuate, get other people involved, and that's just not my game. I got to sell something that I believe in, and I feel like whenever I see people selling products like this, it may not necessarily be something that they believe in, but again, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to to try to talk down on anybody who does do this or does sell any other type of products that are structured this way. Your hustle is your hustle. And if you're passionate about these products, then that's great and that's amazing. I'm not. I, I'm a skeptic. So thank you guys for taking the time to listen to this. It's a little bit ranty, but again, fitness podcast. I'm a little bit rantish when it comes to fitness related things that I feel are are non beneficial yet pushed as if they are necessities. And yeah, this will probably be the first video that I throw up there on Facebook. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you. Uh, I have a podcast. This is episode thirty five. So I've been I've been at it for a little bit now. If you're seeing this on Instagram know that there is a much longer podcast posted. Links are in the bio. You're probably catching the video on the IGTV, which is only a 10 minute highlight segment of this sort of talk. But again, thank you guys and catch you in the next one. See ya.